<laughs> um, I want to start off. I want to start off with a bit of exciting news. I recently got engaged. Woo! Thanks, guys. Uh, and even more recently, I just became single. <laughs> <laughs> Which, for some of you, may be even more exciting. <laughs> and. If you're one of those people, you can find me on Tinder, uh, lesmatch.com, or at the Creamery on Ninth, <laughs> because those freshman girls just don't know any better. Um, a bit of advice, though: if you ever have to break an engagement, do it within the ring's 30 to 60 day refund period. <laughs> because I cannot stress enough how hard it is to get rid of a used engagement ring. Uh, it's not funny, it's not a joke. <laughs> um, what I did was take the diamond, sell it back to the jeweler uh, by itself and get some money back that way. Uh, but now I'm stuck with an empty ring that's really useless <laughs> and harder to get rid of than before. Nobody will take it. And so I don't know what to do with it. Uh, do I throw it away? That seems weird because it cost me like my uh, Vespa. <laughs> um, what else? I can't like hold on to it either for obvious reasons. So um, I thought about maybe just losing it in a bucket of Legos <laughs> somewhere. Uh, maybe I could play a game of bigger or better, <laughs> or I could pee on it. <laughs> That's probably what I'll do. Because marriage sucks. <laughs> I think, I don't know. <laughs> it's not really that bad being single though. You like lose stuff, you get all sorts of perks. Uh, number one, I get to eat all of my french fries. <laughs> and what I've discovered uh, is that single fries actually taste better than relationship fries. <laughs> if you haven't guessed it, uh, it's the tear salt. <laughs> <laughs> also, Netflix finally gets me. <laughs> finally started accurately predicting my tastes in movies. <laughs> like, no more New Girl showing up next to Django Unchained. <laughs> Why would I want to see Django Unchained? <laughs> Anyway, so even though I can no longer trust women, I can trust Netflix again. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> awesome. Wes Curtin. Didn't know anything about him before the set. Now know maybe too much about him. <laughs> if I had known, I would have been like, hey, come to the stage. A broken man at the end of his